Welcome back to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to keep that like button on the jump. Push that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Like the match has started. And today, we are going to be talking about none other than Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant at Wrestlemania 3. All that and more on this episode in your weekly dose, Wrestling Nostalgia. As we all know, at the early 1986s, the, the two most popular WWE superstars were Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. The first, team these, the first time these two superstars fought against each other was in a 10-man tag, tag team elimination match at Survivor Series, where Hulk Hogan was click, quickly counted out, and Andre the Giant soy, sold all of his opponent's team. But later, Hulk Hogan attacked Andre out of the ring. At the 1987s, a man called the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, uh, came and asked Hogan who was currently the champ to sell him his title. But Hogan refused. So he then asked Andre to defeat Hogan and get the title and then give it to him, the Million Dollar Man. The second time they meet in the ring was at a match for the title. Andre defeated Hogan and gave the title to DiBiase, aka the Million Dollar Man. But the greatest match these two superstars had was, of course, the memorable match at WrestleMania 3. That at that match, Andre body slammed Hulk Hogan twice, but the champ was able to body slam Andre to win the title. These, these two superstars, superstars offered us some great wrestling experience, and I personally believe that the only other two athletes that offered us such great matches were The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, uh, yeah, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant win... Uh, when he body slammed him, it was memorable. Some people might call it the best moment in WWE history. But still, it's just crazy how Hulk Hogan was able to muster up the strength after trying twice before. The WrestleMania 3 main event between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant is not only the greatest match ever promoted by Vince McMahon in the WWE, it is also a match that transcended the sport of professional wrestling and made the show destination programming for fans all over the world. Over 90,000 fans filled the Pontiac Superdome in suburb suburban Detroit, Michigan, while others packed arenas to watch the match on closed-circuit television. The first truly epic match in WrestleMania's long and illustrious career, illustrious career, or whatever. The Hogan and Andre match was the epitome of perfect booking and involved two superstars perfectly suited for a match of that magnitude. With the with Hogan's three-year title reign on the line against Andre's legendary 15-year undefeated streak. Fans knew that something had to give. Would Hulkamania continue to run wild? Having defeated the man, man many considered to be unbeatable? Or would Andre the Giant further add to his legacy by toppling Hogan in the biggest match ever? The Unstoppable Force versus the Immovable Inevitable Object was the way of Hall of Fame Hall of Famer Gorilla Monsoon put it on commentary, and never has a quote been more appropriate. The background? On January 23rd, Hulk Hogan defeated the Iron Sheik to capture the WWE Championship and kick off a new era in professional wrestling. The first of his peers to congratulate him was his friend, the man known as the 8th Wonder of the World, 
Andre. Jet. Over the course of the next three years, the two superstars would star for McMahon's promotion as the most popular and recognizable stars in the business. Despite their friendship, there was always one nagging question surrounding the WWE title. The Hulkster and Andre. When would the Giant finally opt to challenge for the one prize he has never held? In early 1987, Hogan was awarded a trophy for his three-year reign atop WWE as its heavyweight champion. Andre was also presented a trophy, the one for his unimaginable 15-year undefeatable streak, undefeated streak. When he saw that his trophy paled in comparison to Hogan's, Andre became noticeably, noticeably disappointed. Sure there. Shortly thereafter, Hogan was a guest on Piper's Pit, hosted by Roddy Ryan Piper. Peace, by the way. To the shock and awe of every fan watching, Andre the Giant confronted Hogan and revealed that he had aligned himself with Bobby the Brain Heenan. And if you are aligned with Bobby the Brain Heenan, that's you. That's basically the biggest thing. You, that's the worst, literally, that's the worst thing you could do. That's like slapping an old woman in the face, joining Bobby the Brain Heenan. He challenged Hogan to a match for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 3. A stunned Hogan could barely respond, only managing to repeat, please Andre, for having his shirt and crew fix ripped off his chest by his former friend. The official contract signing for the match featured a wildly intense Hogan staring across the table at Andre, his body either shaking with anger or trembling with fear. They exchanged words. Signing the contract in the biggest match in history of professional wrestling was made for March 29th inside the historic Pontiac Superdome. Here's the match. The WrestleMania 3 main event is the perfect example of a match that lacks work Great, but makes up for it with iconic moments that are as memorable today as they were 27 years ago. The stare down at the start of the match. The attempted body slam from Hogan very early on that almost resulted in a pinfall. The, be the bear hug from Andre as the fight sapped out of Hogan nearly rendered the Hulkster defeated in his title reign over. This, the successful body slam and leg drop that won Hogan the match and solidified him as the unquestionable face of professional wrestling. These are moments from one match that any fan ever privileged enough to have seen the bout remembers vividly. The match was every bit of the epic encounter that the wrestlers themselves, the promoters, and the fans hoped it would be. Hogan and Andre realized the gravity of the bout and delivered the best match that they could, given Andre's physical limitations, and the fans ate it all up. Gorilla Monsoon, who was an underrated craftsman of sound bites, described WrestleMania 3 as a happening, and a large reason for that was a titanic clash between the top stars in the sport. With the weight of the entire company on their shoulders, they delivered in spades. Even if the match was not nearly as athletically athletic and pleasing athletically pleasing as the Ricky Steamboat and Randy Savage classic that preceded it earlier in the evening, it was still okay. The historical significance. Despite its status as the face of WWE and its most popular star for the th for three years leading into WrestleMania 3, there was still the elephant in the room in the form of Andre the Giant, who was a beloved figure in the sport. Hogan's victory over Andre firmly cemented his status as the top star in professional wrestling. As much as, as, much as it was the Hulkster's crowning achievement, though it was also Andre's. After nearly two decades of competing around the globe, Andre stood on the biggest stage he had ever competed in and delivered one of the finest performances of his Hall of Fame career. Despite a near crippling back injury, he rode to the ring, 
pass the torch to Hogan and left the Silver Dome, feeling a great sense of accomplishment regarding the match. Hogan would go to, on to main event every WrestleMania through the ninth of it, through the ninth event, making McMahon, WWE, and himself a large sum of money at the same time. He became the, he became the most immediately recognizable star ever to grace a professional wrestling ring. As a result, he brought a great deal of awareness and attention to the sport, becoming a great ambassador for professional wrestling and the Babe Ruth of WWE. He would leave WWE in 1994 to join Ted Turner's WCW for more money and creative control. He would remain with the company until its demise in 2001. Hogan would be inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2005. Andre would remain with the WWE until 1991, competing on a part-time schedule. That did not prevent him from remaining a major part of WWE during that period. In February 1988, Andre met Hogan in a televised rematch on, of their epic encounter, defeating the Hulk, Hulkster amid, amid tremendous controversy. He would sell the WWE title to the Million Dollar Man, like I said before. A deal that would be deemed illegal. The famous WrestleMania 4 title tournament resulted during which Hogan and Andre competed against one another again. Those match matches never quite reached the level that WrestleMania 3 battled it. Those are those matches. This is WrestleMania 3. You can't even see it because it's so high. It's even going higher. It's going higher. Oh, look at this one. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. <sighs> but... Feuds with Jake Roberts, John Studd, The Ultimate Warrior, and Demolition, as well as the tag team title reign with Haku, kept Andre relevant throughout his final years in the industry. On January 27th, 1993, and this is probably one of the saddest parts of this video, The Wrestling World. On January 27th, 1993, the wrestling world lost one of its true pioneers when Andre when Andre the Giant passed away at the age of 46 in Paris. The WWE created its Hall of Fame and almost immediately after, with Andre being the first and only member of the 1993 class. In a recent interview of, for WWE Network's WrestleMania Rewind, Hogan spoke candidly about Andre and about what he meant to what he meant to both Hogan and the wrestling world. Now, I'm going to give you some audio of that match so you can, you know, feel what it was like to be there. So, without further ado, here's the auto audio from that match. Okay, guys, you already know the drill. Uh, for copyright reasons, I cannot show you the video, but I can most certainly, uh, you know, just let you hear the audio. So, without further ado, here is the audio. And that is all I got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't already, be sure to click that link in the jaw. Touch that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Like the matches started. And I'll see you guys next time. Two. Sawi. Okay. See you guys tomorrow.